So in today's video, we're going to install a Elon Musk Starlink solution. See if we can get a better internet connection here on the Portugal project. And we've been using uh, like a cell phone provider with a hotspot thing, kind of. Uh, very much not sufficient. Um, this costs a little money, but if you want to see how to order it, check the other video uh, I made about the unboxing and the ordering. Uh, it costs a little money, but um, it should give a, a very nice internet connection. Uh, comparable to like broadband in Holland. So let's see about that. Want to clear up some rubble already where, at the place where we're gonna put the Starlink. Uh, let's get my uh, my video editor a better internet connection. And all of us, we can do with one. Uh, so you see uh, what we got. Also in the other video, I do the unboxing. You can see what the, the parts are, They're mainly a, a dish, a power connector, and a router. Fancy looking little uh, thing. Ah, the output is covered. This is where the cable uh, comes from the satellite. And this was covered, but it's like uh, it says auxiliary, so I hope this is going to connect to my uh, my own Wi-Fi setup I have from Unify. Uh, it also got with uh, came with these instructions: find your satellite, hook it up, and find the Wi-Fi and connect to it. Yeah. So to do this setup, you have to download um, the Starlink app. And with the Starlink app, you can scout for a good place to put your satellite dish. And what it does is it has an overlay for the camera. And when you move the phone, uh, it like kind of detects the good areas. And then you have to get up to 100% of good area. You move the phone everywhere. And then it says like, oh, this is a good, or if you cannot collect all the things, this is not a good area to set up your satellite. Uh, once you have this uh, location, you can then uh, go into the further setup. And there, of course, the first thing that we need to do is like put the dish in that place and connect it all up to the power. And then we should be able to receive uh, this Wi-Fi connection from this thing. Uh, let's do that. Uh, so we picked this place here to, um, to put the dish on. Like it has a good, nice clear view of the sky. This is also where we were did the measurement with the app. Uh, so, Eduardo, me, I'm gonna we're gonna put it on here. Uh, Eduardo, do you want to go on here and I get the dish? Okay. Yeah. I go get the dish, the Elon Musk Starlink dish. Kind of heavy, but yeah. <coughs> Oh, it does have holes to anchor it. Oh, I'm just gonna put it up here for now. <laughs> Be careful, this costs 650 euros. Oh, I'm stuck. I'll go get the rest. So the dish has a really long cable, so we're gonna run the cable to the kitchen. See if we make that. And then we're gonna put the bower brick and the router we're gonna put in the kitchen. Let's put them here for now. Yeah, so this should be very straightforward. Yeah, so Dwight, you would think if you look at a normal dish that this would be correct setup, right? But the Starlink thing, it moves like all the way, like left, right. So I think there would be a better position. Let's try it. Okay, so there's a long cable here. So this is a really long cable. We're running it from the dish already and like Dwight can go almost around the house and then around the other corner. <laughs> so that's maybe 50 meters or something. You should be able to set that up where you want it. And uh, now let's connect it. So we have the 
power brick when maybe you need power. What's with all these wires? The hardest part of this project is still getting all the wires untangled. So, put that in there. This is the cable from the dish. I suppose grey goes on grey. It was connected in the box while well, I took it out, but I didn't pay attention where it was in. Makes sense, right? White, white. White, white, Dwight. Inside is joke for everybody who watches regularly. So then that should power uh, also the router because it's also power over Ethernet. It doesn't come with an adapter. So that should be booting up now. So uh, blinking white. Yeah, and then we need the app. What is on that phone? Uh, be back with you in a bit. So uh, that takes a little while here before the router is uh, started. Uh, when the LED is like constantly and not blinking, it's like uh, booted up. And then I could uh, connect the Starlink app uh, with the Wi-Fi to this uh, router. And then it, I needed to create like um, a new uh, network name and a password. Uh, after that, it disconnected uh, from this uh, Wi-Fi and you need to uh, reconnect with the, the new Wi-Fi you just created. And it's now running on my phone. And I did a little speed test. And it's coming up with like 300 megabytes download and like 20 to 25 megabytes upload. So I'm very happy with that. <laughs> And it's going to change a lot of uh, sad faces here when we're all using the internet and it's slow as... It's very slow. It's very slow. Um, the one thing I still need to do now, um, if you're like a home user and you use the Wi-Fi from this uh, device, that will be sufficient and you can just use it now and connect your laptop and your Dwart to the, uh, to the router. <laughs> <laughs> but what we need to do is we have a whole installation here uh, with Wi-Fi uh, on different points uh, of the land. Uh, so we want to connect this router and replace the, the NOSH, it's actually NOSH we have now, the NOSH router that is up there and use this router instead so we can all share uh, this internet. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that... Um, I had a formerly also a satellite dish, uh, but it was connected only to one satellite. It was like the old system, like a Eurosat. And this had very big latencies. Like it took like some hundred, sometimes 700 milliseconds to get a signal. And with the Elon Musk thing, I saw it like 40 to 50 milliseconds. So that's also like a normal internet connection. So, uh, looking very good now. Oh, here's the speed test from my computer, but it only has um, it only has a slow Wi-Fi uh, stuff, so it's like 100 download and 20 upload. But uh, we had like uh, 20 up, 20 download and two or three megabytes upload. So big improvement. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can connect it to my network. I would have been very clever and set this up right. It should work now. But I don't know if that's actually the case. Let's see the computer. Well, I set up my network correctly. I just plug the thing in and it's uh, loading the speed test page and doing a speed test. So, ooh, the upload is suddenly a lot higher. Hmm. So, but we're gonna do um, a review like in a couple of weeks to see how stable uh, this uh, Elon Musk Starlink system is and see if we get a little bit of constant speeds and if we uh, always have a connection. Oh, Duarte, are you happy with the new internet? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you didn't use it yet. So now when you connect to the Starfish network, because our network is called Starfish, oh. it's just a coincidence, it's connected to the Elon Musk stuff. So get out your phone and play some games or something. <laughs> Download some music. Talk to some friend and tell me in two weeks how you like the internet. Okay.
So that's actually very easy to set up. Uh, we put the dish here and we connected this very long cable to the living room, to the kitchen area. Uh, there it already worked out of the box with the router. And I connected it to my system with the auxiliary port that's on there. And because I'm so great that I configured my system correctly also. Uh, it all worked very flawless. Uh, actually, the hardest thing was getting the cable untangled. What may have been mostly our fault. <laughs> so, yeah, very happy with this. Um, I'm going to give you guys uh, the review in, uh, in a week or two. Like, uh, ask everybody around how they like this new Elon Musk Starlink system. We're up and running. I'm going to put this cable a little bit somewhere. Akira, are you happy with the new system? Yes, now you can bark. Yes, you're happy with it. You're happy because we are happy with it. Yes. You like everybody happy, right? If you need to know anything from the internet, I'll look it for you up. Very fast with this new dish. Uh, see all your Starlink fans in the review video. Uh, tomorrow we have a Portugal project video. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Cute little dish. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal Project. If you want to follow the Portugal Project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal Project.